Is that all? I can't think of anything else to say. So, I went into the military right after those September 11th attacks because I didn't really agree with it. And like, I was kind of devastated that America got attacked because that was the thought of me. Like, I never really thought of a American land getting attacked, like some big buildings. Not that it had anything to do with me or my state that I'm in, in California. It, it, it's in New York, but still, maybe, uh, I don't know. I just was upset about it, so I wanted to join the military so I could uh, be a fighting force against that kind of stuff happening again. And it just kind of trickled down, like like I was saying, when we go on foot patrols, so I'd be the one saying to not fire at us when we go out there. Of course they would, and then we'd really damage them. This story is about my friend Chris and his struggle with schizophrenia and post-traumatic stress disorder. When I see that picture of Chris, I don't know if that guy exists anymore. The guy I see now is somebody stuck in a really dark place. He's just struggling physically and spiritually. And it's sad to see someone you used to know just falling apart in front of your eyes. I hate I did that. Fought and fought like that. I don't know why I was like that, dude. But I was so trigger happy. And now I'm gonna die. Death, dude, death has been on my mind for many years. I mean, there's no point in keep it, continuing to wake up. I'm waking up like four years like this. Just, and that's just mentally. And then you go back, like, I don't know. Go back another few years and then it's physically. And all it did was just go into the spiritual realm. So it's like we're in Iraq, in this other place. Yeah, everybody's there. Uh, but even now, like, Death, the thought of death is always there. I don't fear it anymore now because I'm so miserable that I really don't even care about dying. I'd hate to wake up and live like this every day where we're in hell. So I'd like to go to the next part where I pass away and hopefully things will get better there. Because it doesn't seem like it is here, but I mean, I'm trying to be the best I can so that stuff does go away because I know no one really wants to be locked in a war. And we're all locked in there now. At first it was a choice at least. Physically, maybe if you wanted to sign up, you can go to war. But now everybody's almost stuck there with this command in us. A few days after I finished filming, Chris celebrated his 29th birthday and I wasn't able to be there. So I'm pretty sure he spent it alone. So the next day, Chris's brother Kevin and I, we just decided to get him out of the house, so we drove up to the mountains, it was snowing, and in the three months I spent with Chris, he said a lot of things that have really stuck with me, but there was one thing he said about laughter, something as simple as laughter that you and I do every day, and I'll never forget it. Yeah, dude, if I make it to my 30s, that's it. If I make it past 2012, it's gonna be crazy. I keep saying that every year, though. If I make it to the next year, dude, that's crazy. Like, laughter is a creation. Laughter is great, dude, it comes rarely. When it does, it's so freaking... You remember it when you laugh, that feeling, dude. I haven't had, I don't even know, remember the last time I had that feeling. Thank you.